The people of Mali have once again been to the polls, but this time for a decisive vote. Their choice was between current president Ibrahim Boubacar Keita and opposition leader Soumaïla Sissé. The opposition had accused the ruling party of fraud during the first round. And on Sunday, they claimed further violations. It started even yesterday. The anti-fraud brigade apprehended some youth with ballot papers already filled in with the name of the current president. The Malians today already know that their votes have been stolen and that the election has been manipulated. I've come here to mobilize the people to vote for the other candidate. This morning I noticed that 15 to 20 voter bulletins were missing in each booth. Also I found that in one room the government has two observers, the opposition has none. The organizers refuse to allow our observers in. We can't understand this. Several hours after the polls opened, 18 local observers who said they represented the opposition had to be expelled from a polling station in Bamako. The opposition denied any links with them and provided a new list of representatives. There were also some reports of violence. The head of a polling station in a village north of Timbuktu was killed by unknown gunmen. But the president's camp says there should be no cause for concern. Without any doubt, this is the most transparent electoral process in Mali's democratic history. A few months ago, a new electoral law and other reforms were introduced at the request of the opposition. The government has agreed to count the results of every single polling station separately upon a demand from the opposition. International observer missions have all praised the voting process in the first round. Sunday's turnout was reportedly very low in parts of the country, particularly in the north. The main opposition party came in a distant second in the first round of voting. In the two weeks since then, opposition leader Soumaïla Sissé failed to convince his colleagues and the other parties to join him in a united front. That has left Sissé with even less chances of winning. There's a feel of deja vu here, same old talk of violations, exchange of accusations and confusion in some polling stations. And just as the president got the upper hand in the first round, he's widely expected to win the final vote today. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Bamako.